What's up everyone, Ricky here from RPI coming at you with a quick short video. Um, I decided that for Halo maps, not necessarily that I'm featuring, but maps I've created, I will be doing a fly through, if you will, just a brief fly through. And this will probably be the longest one. I went and recorded extra footage for it just because this is the first one of it, so I figured why not go all out, make it a little bit longer than normal. But what I'll do is I'll do a fly through of it, sort of. You won't see the entire map. And then a week later, I will release the gameplay footage of me, probably Danny, maybe we can get Matthew in on this as well, see how many people we can get for it. But um, what we'll do is actually play some actually play on the map, do a commentary for it, just have a good time with it. But I figured that a week before the commentary, the, the gameplay commentary comes out, I would do the map feature slash walkthrough uh, and give a brief description of it. Description. Did I say that right? I think I did. Anyways, doesn't matter. So I'll make this as brief as possible. Baron is a map that I've created in Halo 2 Anniversary Sandbox on the map. On the uh, canvas awash. Now, this map was originally named Barrier back in Halo 4, a map I created. And to be honest, Barrier was probably the best map that I created. And Baron, I, I built Baron based off of memory, and it's pretty much the same. There are some differences, such as some parts that used to be open, uh, structures were added to it like rooms and stuff. There's now a gate that opens and closes. There's a obviously a button that you'll have to find on the map to open and close it. There's a, there's a few other buildings that I added that weren't in there previously. The weapon drop was changed. A lot of c uh, scenery pieces were added. I built mountains in the background. Uh, I made it more believable, more of an, just not like a, a box, because the map is very box-shaped. Now, obviously there's angles in it and stuff so it's not completely square but it's definitely boxy so uh so i added a bit more scenery geometry to it just to bring it more to life make it more realistic and just all in all a better play experience the weapon set was changed slightly there's no railgun in halo 2 anniversary unfortunately so i couldn't include that in it was one of the original weapons that were part of the weapon set um the weapon set's pretty good. It's mainly just like carbines, a carbine, some battle rifles, frag and plasma grenades here and there, plasma rifles, an assault rifle. There should be some SMGs, but the power weapons are a brute shot, a sniper rifle, a shotgun, and a overshield, which isn't really a weapon, but you, you get what I mean. It it still counts as one. So those are the power weapons. I've already said the other weapons. Spawning, it can take up to 10 people, though it will get chaotic at 10. So I recommend 8. Right now the only supported game type is Free For All, which is what we're going to be playing next week when the video comes out. You'll see us playing Free For All on that map. Uh, I do plan on adding Infection, Oddball, Team Slayer. You could probably play Infection on it right now, actually, just because the way the spawns are set up and everything. So you could probably play Infection on it, but Oddball and Team Slayer will be added game types, and I'll look to see if there's anything else I can add, uh, just to give it more choices. If I can put in Capture the Flag, I will, <laughs> but I probably won't be able to. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the map. Hopefully you guys like the little walkthrough, or not walkthrough, but fly through of the map, showing off some of it a bit beforehand, before the actual gameplay comes out. I'm starting to run out of time. But I feel like I don't have enough to say to finish up this last minute or so of footage. But stay tuned for next week for the uh, for the actual gameplay and commentary. It'll be tons of fun. Can't wait to get that out. And just stay tuned for more awesome content. Don't forget to check out the new RPI website. And if you feel up for it, check out our uh, RPI uh, second anniversary special that we did. It's uh, AQ Worlds, me and Danny did a commentary over it where we talked about the channel and what kind of videos we're planning on releasing in the future. This is Ricky from RPI. I'm signing out. Enjoy the rest of this video.